Armando Breuer has held his first interview with Everton TV since signing on loan from Chelsea during the summer transfer window. Uh, Breuer said the main thing that stood out for me playing at Goodison Park in the past was the fans. It was loud. Being on the away team, the atmosphere was remarkable. It's special and I can't wait to be on the right side of the fans this time. They're an amazing fan base and they really love their football. Hopefully I can make a positive impact on them. The stadium has been around for a long time, much longer than me. There are so many memories here and I'll be very nice to play here before we move to a new stadium. Obviously, Breuer did sign late on transfer deadline day. Uh, it had gone very quiet with Breuer, uh, who is currently injured at the moment. Um, Everton did release a, a social post basically saying, where's Breuer? and then had him arriving um, and going under his name. It was very clever the way they did it, but there you go. Um, yeah, listen, Armando Breuer, good player, hasn't scored the goals you would have expected him to. Hopefully he clicks at Everton for him. He's got a lot of ability. It's whether or not he can stay fit. Fingers crossed he can. But currently he is nursing an injury. There is no proper uh, time scale on his return, but hopefully it won't be too long. In an interview today published by Everton, uh, which is exclusive to official members on their website, uh, under-18 coach Leighton Baines explained why he stayed loyal to Everton and stayed until his retirement. Uh, the former England left-back said, I was a winner. If I was linked to Champions League clubs, then I was doing the right things. And these things are decided by other people. And I was playing for Everton, which is what I wanted to be doing. Uh, obviously, Baines was... Subject of a couple of bids by Manchester United to take him there, but he did stay at Goodison Park. David Moyes was uh, hopeful of taking him to Old Trafford. Uh, Alex Ferguson had tried to take him as well, but Bain stayed at Everton um, and went on to become a idol for a lot of fans. Fantastic left back, brilliant left foot. And it's great to see him now coming through the coaching side of the game as well as Everton's under-18 coach. Whether he's got any long-term designs on being first-team manager... We'll have to wait and see, but what a fantastic footballer he was. Al-Shabaab manager Vita Pereira has spoken out on how close he was to joining Everton when Frank Lampard became Everton manager. Pereira said, I was very, very close to signing for Everton. I was ready to start working there. I travelled over and stayed for one week, and I had four meetings with the club. But in the end, it was not to be. I was so close to being a Premier League manager on three different occasions. Um, small things stopped it from happening each time. But in the future, I believe I will be there. Uh, he was It was a mad one, that wasn't it? Because he came from nowhere to seemingly be the favourite to take the Everton job. And then he did that interview on Sky Sports News and live. And it sort of unravelled. Uh, people were very, very against it then with some of the things he was saying. He seemed very, very disappointed um, live on air. And I guess, listen... Who knows what would have happened, uh, but he has you know, gone on to coach in other countries and he has set his heart on managing in the Premier League. Let's see where he ends up if he does get there. And finally, Everton defender Rhys Welsh is uh, set to join Belgium side KMSK Dainz on loan and is undergoing a medical. That's what uh, the story is today. The young defender has featured for Everton in pre-season. Does need a loan, spent some time on loan uh, in lower leagues and obviously moving off to Belgium. We'll see how well he does. And the final piece of news is that the Everton badge in the new dressing room at the uh, Everton Stadium has now been painted. It looks absolutely tremendous. We saw the outline of it, didn't we, um, a long time ago, the sketchings of it. Then we saw it uh, in reality without it being painted, but it has been painted now in the dressing room. And they further evidence that the new Everton Stadium is getting close to completion. It looks tremendous. That is it for the news daily. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later.